Hey guys, this is Chris from Silver Brick Reviews, bringing you guys a review on the Ninjago Masters of Spinjitzu Venomari Shrine. So this was the small set of kind of the sneak line. Oh, yeah, I ended up finding this in 2013 in a Chapters bookstore. It's the same as Indigo, and um, <laughs> for 20% off. So I thought that was cool. I was like, hey, I want to get this because if you guys know about the, if you guys own the Epic Dragon Battle set. You guys are like, oh dang, the snake leaders don't have their staffs. It's like, well, that's great. I don't have to go buy these other sets that have the staffs. So that's the reason I bought this set personally, so I could give the staff to the Venomari snake leader. And yeah, also, it's, you know, it's a pretty cool set. Um, more is actually a bit more complex than I thought it would be. Of course, you know, it is like a, um, ten. I got this for nine ninety five Canadian, so it's probably I think like seven ninety nine American, whatever. So, anyways, as you guys can see, the set, oh, as you guys can see, the set has 86 pieces and is recommended for ages 7 to 12. So I actually had my 6-year-old cousin, who's a girl, try to build this and it took her like an hour. And in this, in the time that she built this, I built the entire Minds of Moria set. So then again, she is 6 and the recommended ages are 7 to 12. So, so yeah, that's just um, comparing our skill level. Mm -hmm. Anyways... <sighs> Yeah, so, anyways, first we get Zane, and he's, you know, you guys probably own Zane. I like it because he actually comes with the shoulder pads, and, like, he doesn't come with in some other sets. It's him. He doesn't have an other side of the face. Oh, shameful. Anyways, you guys have probably seen Zane before. If you guys actually want to get a good look at him, go check out one of my other reviews, or come check out this review, sure. Oh, don't leave the video. Hunt you down. Not really. I'll take off his thing. And he'll not have his neck thing. I really wish that this set came with Kai. I really want them to have like a small set that comes with Kai. Because I want to get another Kai. It's cool. Anyways, so that's what that looks like. You get one sword. I was like, oh. It's one of those other sets you get like a ton of swords. Like so many weapons, you don't even have room for all of them. Mines of Mori has like a tight crap ton of weapons that nobody can use because everybody already has a weapon. Anyway, so as you can see, we get the cool um, snake staff. We get snake dripping venom, and we get two little snakes, which are actually really cool pieces. I really like them. And what we do is on the back, we have these. And what you do is you press down, and it catapults the snake. New record. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, ouch, that actually hit me on the head. Good job. That one got... So, the actual distance that they can fire really does vary, of course, because one, like, flew two inches and the other one flew, like, seven feet in the air and then hit me on the head. So, anyways, that's kind of my review of this set. I'm, I might, you know, I'm probably not going to keep this one together, but personally, you know, this would probably be the set that you'd either be getting for the staff or, like, the pieces. So it's either a piece or a staff or maybe Zane, I guess. So... Yeah, anyways, so that's kind of what I got to say about the set. There's not that much else, um, other than the fact that it took my little six-year-old cousin um, an hour to build this. And that's with my help. So anyways, that's what it shows. It shows we got staff number two. Um, my one question is, I, need, I would need to actually answer this. If you guys, somebody can answer this, I'll do something. No, oh, anyways. Dang, this is one of those things where I can do a giveaway. Anyways, I just need to pers I personally want to know this. Um, does Pythor have a staff, if any of you guys know that? Does Pythor actually have a snake staff? And they, they only include four because, like, only the four snake leaders, and then Pythor doesn't even have a staff? Like, is that, is that kind of how it works, or does he have a staff, and that's just never included in anything? So, if you guys know the answer to that, if you guys could post it in the comments, that's my one thing that I'm kind of curious about. Because if, if, if he does have a staff that's in a set, or if it's in the TV show, I don't know. So... Anyway, so thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later. Peace out.